what if you're a virgin will the tube pop your cherry <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be kind of a fun video that I thought of doing. I think it would be pretty funny. Um, and that's answering um, the questions that I got from this Monistat 7 video that I did like years ago. I think I did it back in like 2014. Oh my god, that was like six years ago. Um, I've been on YouTube for quite a while, but I haven't been consistently on YouTube. People are going to be like, oh my god, you've been on YouTube for so long. Like, really? I have, but I really haven't technically because... I have not been consistent with my videos like I am. Like I've been the last like couple months or year or whatever, but okay. So I am going to answer the questions from that Monistat 7 video. Sometimes I will, I'm like smirking right now because they're so funny sometimes. Um, just like, I guess younger girls like really curious or just like kind of concerned about what's going on with their bodies and all that stuff. And I literally Google sometimes like looking at these questions because they're so funny. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer them. Um, you guys don't know what Monistat 7 is. It's basically just like a medication for like yeast infections. Um, just about every girl, if not every girl one day will get a yeast infection in their life. It's not that serious, but I made a whole video on it because I'm like, there are no videos on it here. And I ended up doing so well on that video. And now I just want to go back and answer you guys' questions because it's so long ago that I don't actually like answer the questions anymore because I don't see the questions but I went back and like looked because I think I saw like some question and I'm like oh my god and I looked I'm like oh my god these people are genuinely like scared so fret not guys I am going to answer the video all right I'm wearing I already said I'm wearing my hoodie because I'm a little cold okay so first question is I'm gonna go back 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 Oof, these are from four years ago Someone said, what if, what if your period decides to come? Um, I'm pretty sure you could still use it um, during then. That's like, that really sucks if you get a yeast infection during that time of the month because I would think that like, well, no, because usually you'll use it like if you're laying down, like I would put mine in like overnight. So I don't think anything will be, I think you could still use it and it'll be just as effective. Um, just make sure you like go through the whole treatment, of course, but I think it should be fine. Someone said, how do you feel when you use it? Um, probably relieved, especially from the itchiness and the burning and the uncomfort, the discomfort. Um, it comes with like medicated wipes where it'll help with the itchiness. Um, and then like after a day of using it, you feel so much better. Oh my God. It's it's like when, I, when you first use it, you're like, okay, I feel it working. Like something has to be working. So... Um, like I said before, just because you feel better doesn't mean you like stop because I've done that before where I'm like, oh, I'm good. Like I feel better the next day and I'll completely stop using it. It'll go away and then like come back in a few weeks and it would go away and come back in a few weeks. And I'm like, girl, just use to myself. I'm like, just use the whole thing. You're like, you're going to keep having to buy all this product and all you have to do is use it for like a whole week, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. It's better than that than having it for like on and off for a whole year like I did one time don't do that um so how do i feel when i use it relieved so relieved super relieved people are saying yeah it really does work just make sure you clean yourself which is yeah definitely 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 clean yourself i sounded kind of weird um someone said yes you can get it from sharing things like underwear bathtub showering in the same container i.e bucket drying your wet undies and the same place etc a guy said this okay um yeah definitely you can get it from sharing underwear i don't know anyone who shares underwear but um okay i mean i'm sure someone has shared their underwear before like if you had a sleepover and you didn't have underwear but i would hope it's clean underwear not dirty underwear if it's clean and you shouldn't be getting a yeast infection from somebody and i showering in the same container i mean i've I mean, if you take a bath with someone, I don't even know if you could get it from that. If it's a small container and you, someone just bathed like in a little bucket and then you bathe in the same bucket, then okay, yeah, I could see that for sure. And then drying your wet underwear in the same place. I don't know about that, but that's that's an interesting comment for sure. Um, someone said, thank you. You seemed uncomfortable with the video topic. I can say it was helpful because the actual written instructions had me confused. Um, I don't think I was uncomfortable. I haven't gone back and watched the video, which I probably will after this, but 
I was pretty cool with those. I mean, I was young when I made the video. I think I was like 20 something, like 20, 19. Probably, no, I was 18. 19. I was 18 when I made the video. I was probably like, oh my God, I hope my mom doesn't watch this. But now I could care. Um, my mom can watch any of my videos. Um, Just people are just like, thank you. I'm like, you're welcome, child, because no one else wants to talk about this. Um, Some people are saying like, this is, a, is it a sexual transmitted disease? No, a yeast infection is not an STD. It is just an imbalance in your like hormones and in your pH levels down there and it just kind of gets out of whack and then the bad bacteria kind of grows over the good bacteria and it just need a little bit of help of killing off the bad bacteria so that the good bacteria can kind of regenerate itself even though it does kill off the good bacteria too but just to help you out and get yourself back on track people are just happy like it's an awesome it's very informational and i'm glad i'm so glad i, I had i never thought in a million years this video would like do so well um someone said uh, is it supposed to itch once you put the cream on it so like i said so they put like this med you have like a medication wipes that you can take with you and they also have like this cream like mostly they're like really small in a really small tube um and you can kind of put it in the areas that are itching. I literally would slather that stuff all over because it would be itching so bad. And so I would put that, like the cream on there and it would relieve it. Oh my God, it would relieve it so well. Um, but yeah, there's definitely, there's a cream. It's not supposed to itch after you put the cream in there. If it does, then I guess wait it out. I don't know. Does it come back after you use the whole kit? No, it should not come back after you use the whole kit. If it does, I would recommend making an appointment with your OB, um, not OB, <laughs> or your gynecologist, um, or like regular doctor if you guys don't go to a gyno yet, um, and get that checked out because it could be something bigger than just the yeast infection. But usually after you finish, there, I think there's Monistat 3, I think there's one that comes with just one, but I know there's Monistat 3 and Monistat 7. Monistat 7, I would recommend because it's a longer period. I think 3 just probably has a, like a higher dosage in there. So that's why you can use it for 3 days. But I've only used Monistat 7. Um, and after you finish like the whole entire thing, you should be good. Like there, it should be gone completely. And, and it shouldn't come back unless, you know, like a few years later, a year or whatever later, like something else happens. It's just kind of like the way of life. Um, but it, should, it shouldn't be still be there after you use the whole kit if you use it properly, that is. Um, someone said I'm 18 weeks preggers and I just got my first, found out today if this literally can be a side effect of pregnancy, which is true. Um, just happens sometimes and there isn't much I can do. Evidently Greek yogurt is a good to eat while you have oddly enough. Um, so yeah, definitely when you're pregnant, it probably, I won't say probably will, will happen, but it's probably like it's really really common because your hormones are just so out of whack and it just kind of happens that way um and then yes i have heard that greek yogurt if you like i think of like directly apply it on there and eat it and basically that's because um there's really good bacteria in greek yogurt um that can you know help generate really good bacteria and like kill off the bad bacteria um so yeah having good um what's the word not um probiotics it's a, it's a probiotic i couldn't think of the word um probiotics are really really good for when you have some kind of infection especially like a yeast infection a uti anything like that it can help um you know get rid of it i still do recommend having some sort of going to the doctor or getting some kind of over-the-counter thing um just to kind of help it because you don't want it to come back um but yeah that's a really good home remedy that you could use someone says you're not helping blah 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 why don't you say direct i don't even know what they mean by that um someone said what level of monostat is required to insert please answer asap so basically i kind of described it in the video but you just basically like there's like these tubes that come with it you squeeze it all the way in there you fill the whole entire tube up and then you just loop right in there pretty simple i guess the, the directions on there just are not good for people to understand i don't know how do i feel when i use it i feel great i got that question a lot and then the last question i'm going to answer is 
I don't think I snapped all the questions on here, but um, is what if you're a virgin, will the tube pop your cherry? <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Um, if you mean pop your hymen, I mean, it's possible because I know like tampons can do that, but I wouldn't really worry about that. Like you'll still be a virgin after you use, <laughs> sorry, it's really not funny. Yes, you will still be a virgin after you use Monostat 7, I promise. If if you're using Monostat 7, some, you know what I mean? So um, don't worry about your virginity, you'll still be a virgin. <laughs> It's not funny. I, this person is so genuine about this question. I just thought it was so funny, but um, so cute. But yeah, I hope this answers your questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.